Šodien 1. jūlijs un 1. jūlijā Kanāda atzīmē Nacionālo dienu. Kanādieši svins savu demokrātiju un tās vērtību. Latvijā un Kanādā ir daudz kopīgā, bet īpaši uzsvers par labanu liekamas uz abu valstu partnerību, aizsardzības un drošības jautājumos. Kopš 2017. gada Kanāda ir NATO paplašinātās klātbūtnes kaujas grupas Latvijā vadošā valsts un šobrīd vada NATO klātbūtnes Latvijā palielināšanu un kaujas spējīgas brīgādes izveidi. Un šorīt uz interviju esam aicinājuši Kanādas vēstnieku Latvijā Brainu Svorku un Kanādas bruņoto spēku pavēlniecības Latvijā komandieri Pulkvedi Vinsu Kirštēnu. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, good morning and thank you very much for being with us this morning here and congratulations on Kanada as uh, national day uh, what is the significance uh, the importance of this day in canada and what is celebrated on this day actually super well first of all thank you for having us and thank you for especially having us on canada day uh, so in canada this will be the the day of the the largest celebrations throughout our country um, we are celebrating our 157th anniversary as a nation this year and throughout canada there will be gatherings of family and friends and in our larger cities, very large community events, which will include festivals, uh, concerts, uh, and fireworks at the end of the evening. Uh, so very much, it's a, it's a casual day. Canadians like to celebrate it together with their friends and community and with their family. And what's exciting is this year, um, more than ever before, we have more Canadians celebrating Canada here. Canada here in Latvia. Um, and so that's quite exciting as we continue to have more of our military service members serving here, uh, many with their families. The number of Canadians living here in, in Latvia are increasing more and more. Mm -hmm. But basically, how would you describe uh, the relations between Latvia and Canada now, nowadays? Uh, what unites us? Well, at the, the core of our relationship is we have a, a very healthy Latvian diaspora in Canada. So some 30,000 people of uh, Latvian origin descent are living in Canada and that formed the basis of our of our relationship. Uh, since 2017, as your introduction mentioned, uh, Canada has been the framework nation for NATO's enhanced forward presence here in Latvia. Uh, and so with that, uh, our, our relationship has grown uh, very close. Uh, so our defense relationship at the, the center is the uh, enhanced forward presence of NATO, uh, but that has also expanded in different ways. And so we have found cooperation in different areas of defense and security. We're working together on uh, cyber security. We are working together uh, in different commercial areas, and uh, that continues to grow. Uh, so we have also increased the size of our diplomatic presence here in Latvia uh, so that we can also support greater relationships on our commercial and our people-to-people -people ties. Mm -hmm. Speaking about yeah, right. defense security, yeah, as you mentioned, current NATO enhanced uh, forward presence Baltic uh, battle group Latvia uh, is led by Canada. Wins, uh, how would you say how big is the army here? How, ma how many troops are comprised and also from uh, which countries? So we currently, the, the battle group is made up of 11 countries, but that is growing very, very quickly uh, with the growth to the brigade that's going to be happening over the course of the summer and then leading up to the major exercise we're having in November, uh, where we now have uh, other nations coming to join us, uh, Denmark and Sweden specifically, but we will also have Latvians embedded inside of our headquarters as well. So it will be made up of 14 nations uh, by the time it's uh, we reach... Uh, where, where we need to be in November. Uh, currently, there are about uh, 1,300 Canadians here, uh, but that number is going to surge uh, to well over 2,000 by, by November. Mm -hmm. uh, on Wednesday, as we know, a ceremony will be held at, at the Adaj military base uh, to mark the launch of the NATO's enhanced forward presence. Latvia battle group upgrade to brigade uh, level and the establishment of the new NATO's multinational um, brigade in Latvia, which will be comprised of more than 3,500 uh, troops. Uh, there's a stage, of course, of the preparation, the planning, scaling and the full readiness. Um, what stage is now and, um, and uh, the brigade is expected to reach full combat readiness when? So we will start, the, the parade on Wednesday is, is the start of the headquarters and the framework really. We're gonna build the structures mm -hmm. that all of the units that will flow in over the summer and fall will fall into. Uh, and so it will build up over the course of the summer as we bring in people and equipment, uh, vehicles, helicopters, to be able to build that brigade up. So this is just the start. Uh, and over the course of the next four months, you will really see an increased presence, particularly if you live close to Adige, 
uh, where there will be more and more soldiers on the ground uh, ready to start their training. And by we will reach our initial operating capability by mid-November. Mm -hmm. One more question to you, Wins. Now, uh, no doubt that the current geopolitical situation is makes the security a top priority, priority number one. How would you describe uh, Latvia and our army, specifically our combat capabilities? So this is something, and I was fortunate enough to be here for two years as the deputy commander of the Latvian Mechanized Infantry Brigade in Adige. Uh, the capability that they demonstrate, the professionalism of Latvian soldiers is incredible. Uh, and with the buildup uh, through conscription, uh, they will continue to grow their force. What we do as the NATO troops that are here are integrate. We're not here to train. We're not here to, to, to do anything like that. It is purely integration, cooperation, so that together, collectively, we deter Russia. And if things go further worse, uh, we're together ready to defend. Scaling up uh, the current battle group or brigade uh, also requires investment for Canada. How, how much uh, is the cost? Well, it's actually approximately one year ago today our Prime Minister and Minister of Defence were in Latvia uh, and at that time made an announcement that Canada was investing 2.6 billion Canadian dollars, which today would be equivalent to approximately 1.8 billion euro uh, over three years to, to lead this uh, operation for us here in Latvia. Uh, and, th and that contributes in different ways. That is some paying for the, the salaries of the soldiers, some is paying for new capabilities which we have procured and which will be arriving here in Latvia in the coming months and years. And some of it is to also invest in infrastructure here in Latvia to support this NATO brigade that will be here. Mm -hmm. And of course, there are some other very important uh, things going on very soon. Uh, Brian, uh, one more question about Latvia and Canada. And specifically, uh, this week there will be 16th Latvian Song and Dance Festival in Canada, in Toronto. Uh, an important event for the Latvian diaspora. Uh, how are Canadians looking forward to this festival? Well, I had the chance to meet with a number of Latvian Canadians in the last few weeks. Uh, so uh, as a warm up to this event, uh, there was a nice event at uh, one of the, the, the churches here. And I had the, the opportunity to, yes. to mm -hmm. hear um, a number of choirs who will be traveling to Canada. So I understand that between 400 and 500 Latvians will be traveling to Canada to participate in this great festival. Uh, so the community in Canada is really excited about this. Uh, it alternates between a location in Canada and, an, uh, and a location in the United States. So this year we're lucky enough to have it in Toronto. Uh, so over three days there will be a lot of Latvian songs uh, sung and uh, a great celebration of the community in Latvia. So I, I, kn I know that they're very much looking forward to it. And uh, I think it's going to be an excellent event. Vince, had you had uh, have an uh, opportunity to be in Latvia's National Dance Song Song and Dance Festival last year? We did, and oh, you did. It was <laughs> I s just you mentioning the Song and Dance Festival. I still get goosebumps. That was <laughs> such an amazing experience when the national anthem was sang at the start on the closing day. Absolutely unbelievable. I can still feel that in my heart. Uh, do you have these goosebumps also speaking oh. in Latvian <laughs> language? Vienna. Vienna. Uh, yeah. Pets Chetri Gadi Shed, Espansiu Dauds Latvijas Voloda, Kadzipi Shed Pomstam, Bia Tristesmet Latvijas Karaveri, Un S, Un Visimia Runat Latvijas Anglo Voloda, Un Mans Deputik, so Mans Jastradat. Praxiset katru dienu Latviešu valodā ir grūti, bet šeit ir svarīgi ar mums, vai mēs varam strādāt vēl kopā, ir svarīgi, ka mēs varam runāt līdz dzīgajā valodā. Lieliskums ir brīnišķīga Latviešu valodā. Paldies! Bija laba skola tā un daudz motivācijā. Nu ko, tiešām liels prieks, ko jūs visvairāk atcerēsieties no Latvijas un atceraties joprojām par Latviju? Kas ir visvairāk, jā? Just like that, Mina. Uh, I'll just confirm the question. Yeah. Where have I been in Latvia and no. what did I like the best? Uh, what, is that, what, uh, what is the most important that you remember from the Latvia oh. in general? Ligua. 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 Be tris reizes ta ta talsu novads un be fantastiski. Četra četra reize spilo Ligua balites un tikai viens šogads be lists. Vietans, but be a copa Latvia's Latvia's Draugi on be a fantastic. Ah, the Dalzadians, Alus, Yells, Shashleaks, this be a fantastic.
<laughs> that could as well. How, how are you? How about yeah. you with the Lego Festival? Yeah, and, and overall uh, best impressions about Latvia. <laughs> yeah. So my best impression was as you as you asked about the, the the song and dance festival last year, just the the enormity of it and the. Uh, the unifying nature of what song and dance brings to Latvian people, I was so impressed by it. And it was, as Vince mentioned, just a, a moving experience where you're sitting there and just uh, not expecting what it is that all comes together magically somehow. Not magically, but through all the hard work and practice that uh, mm -hmm. many people do. So th that's very much my, my best impression. Uh, what I find most interesting, though, is that I think there's a lot of common characteristics between Latvians and Canadians. Uh, and so uh, uh, I, I know that Latvians sometimes consider themselves to be uh, say, uh, shy or quiet, but once you actually get to know them and talk to them, they open up very much. And it's very similar to Canadians, uh, where it, it takes a while to get us to open up and to, to be really open. But I think uh, those of us who live here with our families, we have the opportunity to actually build these longer relationships and really get to know uh, our Latvian friends. Thank you very much for these impressions about uh, Latvia this morning and for sharing also. And one more time, yeah, congratulations on uh, Canada's National Day for you both. Thank and you. thank you very much, of course, for the Canada that they are doing for the uh, security defense here in Latvia. Thank you very much. Paul, yes. Thank you Thanks very much. Paul, yes. Yes. Paul, yes. Have a nice day. Thanks.